Well, good morning, everybody. And uh, I've just come to show you this new suit that I bought from eBay. Fancy buying clothes from eBay, but I never ever thought that I would. Uh, but it was it's Jacques Vere, my my favourite designer. So I think I shall get years and years of wear out of it. And I've also bought you see some pearls, lots of pearls. This one has a little amethyst on the side. Nineteen uh, fifties, which I think is rather nice. So I think I'm, I'm very, very happy with my new discovery. Now, if I'm going to be opening a fate or something, I can dress the the outfit up and wear a hat as well, can't I? So I think it has lots and lots of possibilities. So <laughs> I'm, I really am quite thrilled with it. Absolutely thrilled. This is Thursday the 9th of September and I'm about to go off and entertain the uh, National Federation of British Telecom and Royal Mail Pensioners. I can't remember if it's Royal Mail or British Telecom but it's one of those sort of things. And I have to entertain at 10.30 in the morning and it's now uh, just before quarter to ten and I'm all ready. Uh, but it's far, far too early to go out and do, do comedy, so I think, oh, the things we do. <laughs> this is my new outfit, purchased via eBay, which I'm very thrilled, my, my Jacques Vere. Today this is getting its very first outing, so we'll see how it goes. My line that, I know that many of you will be looking at me today and I know exactly what you'll be thinking. Isn't the Queen much taller in the flesh? I think this is a bit Her Majesty like, so <laughs> hopefully that will get a laugh. Ah, oh, dear. What a strange profession. Well, that was yesterday, and I'm delighted to say that that particular suit was a, a great success, and it felt very comfortable, and I was very pleased with it. Now, as I said, that blue suit was Jacques Vere. And, and so is this outfit which was bought in the shop. And I happen to like the cut of this particular jacket. And it just so happened that on eBay they had this jacket there suit as well. Well, of course, I felt absolutely duty bound to bid for it. And fortunately, I was very successful and I got it as you can see. And it's a lovely apple green. It's the same cut of jacket as my uh, previous outfit. It's got these rather unusual slits in the skirt. <laughs> a little bit saucy, unusual, isn't it? I can't see Her Majesty wearing those, but there we are. But I, I bought this, of course, for an absolute fraction of what you would pay for it in the in the shop. So I continue to be to be thrilled by by what the internet can do for you, but. I do have one word of warning. Listen to me now from a woman of experience. Now I have some blue lapis lazuli earrings that I've never really had anything uh, to wear with them, to go with them, so I don't wear them at all. Now, I happen to be very fond of pearls, as you probably noticed, and I happen to see on eBay a pearl and lapis lazuli necklace. So I thought that would be absolutely perfect for me. And I bid for it, and I was very successful. And I, I will show it to you. Uh, it arrived only yesterday, all the way from China. I was a wee bit wary of buying from China because I thought it's a long way from my home on the south coast of England. You know, is it going to arrive? But it came within 10 days. And it's rather beautiful, and it matches my lapis lazuli earrings perfectly so so I was really quite thrilled with that. I was wearing it last night and I wore it for about an hour. <laughs> when I took it off I had a completely blue neck and I don't think it's lapis lazuli at all 
I think they're probably dyed beads. <laughs> oh, those Chinese are crafty, aren't they? But <laughs> I had to laugh. So I would say there is a phrase. <laughs> I think it's caveat emptor, buyer beware. So I'm learning about eBay <laughs> all the time. But it, it's an it's amazing experience, and I suppose you live and learn, don't you?